What do these rappers have in common with these works of art? Welcome to Is This Art, where we take a closer look at pop culture and try to answer the age-old question, is this art? A common problem people have with today's rap music is the supposed lack of substance and the fact that often you can't hear a single word they're saying. Rapping along with your favorite tracks takes a little more work than it used to. From the depths of the sea, back to the black Snoop Doggy Dog Funky is the 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 da 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 This new generation of artists goes by many names. Soundcloud rappers, based on the popular platform Soundcloud, where they often publish their work, or mumble rappers, based on the way they rap. Kind of mumbling and not articulating their words well. It appears that these rappers go back to a very basic, almost childlike way of rapping. It's not always about the words, it's more about the emotion, feel, melody, or tone. Take Lil Yachty and Playboy Cardi's song Get Drips, for example, and see if you can make out what it is that you're saying. For the average listener, I think it's pretty impossible. There's a lot of debate on who started this particular style in rap music, but many contribute this to the rapper Future. Critics praise Future's way of stretching and deteriorating words until they're less like words, more like raw energy and reactive and spontaneous emotions. These spontaneous emotions are exactly what connects these young American artists to a group of European artists from over half a century ago. Let's dive into that. We see a lot of similarities between today's rap scene and this group of European artists that were active a few years after the Second World War. They called themselves Cobra, named after the cities where the members of this group worked. Copenhagen, Brussels, and Amsterdam. The artists from the Cobra movement were all about free expression and spontaneous creation. They didn't want to be burdened by the rules of the academics and were probably the first after the Second World War, the time of Hitler's ban on the so-called degenerate art, to again break with art historical tradition. The artists went back to the core of creation, looking at children's drawings and the mentally ill for inspiration. Why? Well, because children and people suffering from mental illnesses were closest to a sort of core creativity and most spontaneous and honest. Children, they just draw. This is something you recognize immediately when looking at the work of the Cobra movement. This is a type of work that probably comes closest to a comment frequently made in museums. This is something that my four-year-old nephew could make. Funnily enough, that might be the biggest compliment you could give the members of the Cobra movement. The Cobra movement created their own characteristic, expressive style or language where they merged bodies of bright colors with squiggly and short lines, creating shapes like eyes, noses and mouths to create something like an animal, for example. The artists from this movement continue this style in their later work as well and have inspired contemporary artists to this day. Nowadays, the Cobra movement is a celebrated name in the museum world. However, in their own time, the artists from the Cobra movement got a lot of criticism from the art critics. This is an interesting analogy for today's rap scene as well. They are also subject to a lot of criticism, often by the older hip-hop establishment. People like Snoop Dogg and Eminem. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style. With the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them niggas sound the same. Who were, in their turn, also in the same position when they were starting out in the what 90s. What time is it? It's time for you to take this one hit one, the white trash. Uh, one oh yeah? Oh. Talk to me guy. Adam Come down here and say it. Talk to me guy. Hmm. You think it's so Talk to me little, little girl. Talk to me little girl. Hey. This guy. Hey you little girl. Oh yeah? Check my album little baby. Check my album. I, I Listen to my album, my album, sir. You don't. You obviously don't know hip hop, and you don't belong judging it. This way of criticizing new generations of artists is a continuous cycle in both visual arts and music, often based on nostalgia because everything used to be better in the past, right? That same cycle goes the other way around as well. 
new generations of artists will always try to rebel against the establishment and create new boundaries by criticizing the old. Gee, I ain't worried about none of you old heads. I ain't with none of that lyrical shit. I just be having fun with what I do. Scat! Music provokes emotion, whether profound or not. And art does just that. The artists that succeed in doing this are the artists that will truly put their mark on music and art history. But what do you think? Is this art? Let us know whether you think mumble rap is art or not, and let us know your suggestions for new episodes of Is This Art. Thanks for watching.